Welcome to another exciting episode of The Trading Bell. This week on the show, we shall be speaking with Mr. Suresh Kanotra, the Managing Director of Sheffield Steel Systems. He'll be talking to us about how the industry has been and what is the future for the hospitality sector. Before we get into that discussion, let's take a look at his profile. Dr. Suresh Kanotra is the founding and managing director of Sheffield Steel Systems Limited since its inception in February 2003. A mechanical engineer by profession and qualification, Dr. Suresh has a wealth of over 30 years experience in stainless steel fabrication and providing hospitality solutions. Sheffield is an industry leader in fabrication and customization of stainless steel where Dr. Suresh has accomplished and managed to model and transform Sheffield Steel Systems Limited to Kenya's one-stop solution provider that purely specializes in design, supply, manufacturing, installation and after-sales services of commercial, kitchen, laundry, cold room, healthcare and hygiene solutions. Mr. Suresh is widely recognized for his role in shaping the company and for his leadership across Africa in respect to commercial kitchen fabrication expertise, cold room PUF panel manufacturing and laundry solutions. Thank you Mr. Suresh Kanotra for hosting us and uh, such a pleasure to have you on the Trading Bell Show. Thank you Abhi, thank you for having me. All right, quite uh, an established investment you have set up here and Talk to us about the brand Sheffield. How did the journey start and how has business been? I'm a mechanical engineer. I graduated in India in uh, Jawaharlal Nehru Technological University in year 1883. So during the early years of my professional career, I was part of startups, fortunately I would say. So there was a company which started manufacturing gearboxes. Then I joined another company which was manufacturing overhead cranes, another company which was manufacturing electrical cables. Beyond it, I joined another company called Singer International. It's an American company, but they had their uh, production house in India. Uh, then I came to Kenya in year 89 as a engineer expat, I joined another company here, which uh, was recently uh, during that time founded and they needed an engineer for their new projects. Mm -hmm. So I've been, it's, it's natural to me, I have a, I'm blessed with what I would call a entrepreneur gene. Uh, I may be wrong there, but it, you don't need to have a gene to become an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. uh, but what came naturally to me was to work hard, work passionately, uh, learn what needs to be done, and uh, uh, do the best in that field. This sector of commercial kitchens was not developed. Uh, so that gap uh, is what I targeted. I didn't have much resources. Uh, so I started by registering a company by the name of Sheffield Steel System. Sheffield is related to stainless steel as uh, linen is related to Manchester, mm -hmm. you know. So that's where the steel uh, started. The, it's famous, Sheffield is famous for that. That's where the word comes from. Um, so I registered a company called two, in 2003, Sheffield, and uh, because of lack of resources, I could just offer people uh, design and after sale services, which was lacking. So there were few uh, companies offering equipment, but they did not have the background of offering service. So when uh, the customers uh, saw the excellence in the service, they saw value in that, they started asking for more. They wanted more help uh, in developing new outlets. Yeah. They started asking for products. And that's where the journey began. In fact, in the very first year, 2003 itself, uh, Sheffield was in profits. We paid the tax from the very first year. And there was no looking back from that time of inception. Mm -hmm. 
yeah we we grew up to uh, start uh, manufacturing locally um, and uh, then we developed over the years to offer complete solutions design build fabricate install and service all right and uh, quite an interesting journey tracing it back to 1989 coming into kenya just Give us a sense of some of the big uh, projects that you've handled, as well as uh, what sort of products have uh, been able to have you been able to roll out in the Kenyan market. So um, this commercial kitchen equipment is a very small name for a very wide industry. Um, we have more than seventy-five market segments. To name a few is hotels, resorts, uh, coffee shops, lounges, bars, corporate canteens, also food processing factories. Uh, and each of these uh, market segments require different solution. A coffee shop has requirement of uh, coffee machines. Uh, these can be basic coffee machines, can be semi-automatic or fully automatic machines. Mm -hmm. And there is a whole lot of uh, the left and right, the bottom and up for a coffee machine to work. Uh, including the ambience of uh, how the setup is for uh, maximizing its usage. So it's a very uh, huge uh, line of work yeah and uh, the work on the food processing is in certain market segment more like a factory or industry but in restaurant coffee shop is a piece of art uh, what you see uh, brought on a on a table in a restaurant is a piece of art done by chef all right so uh, what he wants is some very unique tools to be Put in a certain manner uh, so that he can deliver the best. Interesting and uh, Mr. Suresh, uh, being in business for quite some time, you do appreciate that, that for you to stand out, you need to be having a competitive advantage as opposed to just claiming you're a market leader for the sake of it. Perhaps walk us through what has been able to give you an edge over competition because Right now, the market is, is warming up. We are seeing more players coming on board. And what will be driving your organization into the future in a sustainable fashion? So like any other industry, there is a, a, a common uh, feature one should have to stand out. And uh, that is commitment. Uh, most of the businesses, most of the enterprises, mm -hmm. uh, they demand one of the not very easily available resource that is uh, the funds. And if they're not well spent, then that particular business will not do well. So it's very important for you to appreciate uh, that your customer is going to spend a phenomenal resource uh, to succeed. Mm -hmm. So unless you are committed to giving them the best value uh, for what they are going to spend, uh, it will not work out. So what we offer our people is a commitment that we shall give you the best quality. We shall give you in a fixed time and uh, we should give you in a fixed value. All right. Uh, which this, these are very difficult to achieve targets. And that's what we work towards. So to be able to do this, you got to have the resources. Mm -hmm. So we develop proposal and we make it transparent. So when we present our proposal, we do not only the simple AutoCAD drawings, but we walk the client through on what they are going to get. Okay. 
So they put a lot of trust in us and we want to be very sure that they are getting the best, the contemporary best. It would be important to just also get a feel of how has uh, Sheffield been able to manage the difficult situations that can befall a business? What are some of the challenges that you've faced uh, in your journey in establishing one of the most admired brand in this part of Africa? I don't know how to put it, fortunately or unfortunately. Mm -hmm. um, disruptions have been part of our journey last 15 years. You know what happens every five years here. Mm -hmm. The elections and some of the outcomes of recent elections have been, have been bad. It has disrupted businesses. And we are servicing one of the most sensitive industry, uh, namely the hospitality. Sure. If somebody sneezes or something happens somewhere in the world, the first thing happens is the flights get cancelled. There are advisories from government and some areas are declared no-go zone. And we have been going through these things. So how these challenges have turned to be blessing is the innovation part has become part of our DNA. So we have here a department which is a new product development department. So they are people who are always looking at the gaps. They are uh, looking at how do we create solutions for those gaps or those pain areas. They may be part of our existing offerings. So we evolve more solutions. What previously they are sourcing from overseas, how do we do import replacements for that? Or even, you know, create a, a new solution for that. Uh, one of the recent disruption, more serious one is this COVID-19, which really has shut the doors of most of the hotels. So we immediately started checking what's happening in the other part of the world. And we mutated quickly and we have created COVID solutions. So now if you go to some of the offices, you will find she Sheffield solution right at their doorway where you can sanitize, you can wash your hands, and there's no water or power connection to these things, and it's fully automatic. In fact, we have got a patent on that. Uh, we have created advanced solution where you pass through a tunnel and you get sanitized. We have created solutions where you can sanitize uh, the complete ambience of a room or a lounge using uh, ultraviolet treatment uh, or HEPA filtrations. Uh, that uh, excited us. We were happy that it quickly found applications. If you go to the airport, you will find at the security, before the security, you come out, you got to sanitize yourself. Sheffield is there now. Mm -hmm. So this thing about uh, quickly adapting to a new scenario has helped us a great deal. And what we are trying to do is, uh, on one hand, we are seeing how to penetrate greater geography not only in Kenya, not only in East Africa, but across Africa, taking our solutions there. But other than that, we, are, we have taken our steps to connect with two more stable segments, namely agriculture and uh, health segment. Mm -hmm. We know there's a lot of investment that's yet to happen this. We are at very grassroots levels in these two segments and we have already put up some facilities in that. In agriculture, we are offering cold chain solutions. The farmers don't have nowhere to go with their produce. If the middleman doesn't pick the produce, the produce goes to waste. So we have put up a plant first time, Pioneer Effect in Sub-Sahara Africa. The soft underbelly of COVID did also open up new business lines for organizations. What would be the next milestone? for Sheffield Steel Systems. Which areas are you going to now expand, especially when it comes to the hospitality industry? Talk to us about your latest innovation and how is it performing so far? So in the kitchen segment, uh, we started offering design. We started offering local fabrication, installation. We package our solution with service. Uh, the customers get the longest warranty guarantee terms in the industry. 
and post installation even the training is part of our offerings so to to do this journey always there's been value added we realize that over the years uh, doing the food uh, solutions we have earned a skill of project management uh, the project could be of any kind the product can be any time any kind we realize that we are able to design we are able to build we are able to execute and we are able to offer client uh, the post installation services so uh, taking that further we a uh, couple of years ago we offered here a new kind of uh, business solution in the market called laundromats laundromats is a very common uh, business in developed part uh, most of the students who go stay in hostels they know what laundromat is we did not have laundromats here so we introduced laundromats and as we speak we have put more than 60 laundromats in this geography we have now uh, we talked about it earlier we put up a plan for making uh, cold room solutions but not as a static room dumb room which is regulating some temperatures so what we are offering is you can bring any crop and we'll put it to sleep in this solution and we will ripen in a controlled manner so that you can meet the market demand as you need likewise we were finding there's a huge gap in the industry when it comes to building hotels so borrowing from our other business solutions we have carried the same commitment and we are saying we are able to stop provide a one stop solution in this industry just give us an idea of what you want to do if you are a willing investor we have a solution you can get a 40 room hotel or a 60 room or a 80 room solution from one company and we will offer in return once they decide to go with us a fixed time fixed value a top quality solution many investors are kind of jittery at this moment considering the pandemic uh, upcoming elections but you are still looking optimistic at the same time you are scaling up your investment i would always look at the positive side of the situation we are in uh, if you look at the reality of the world you see that we are in one of the best geographies of the world um we are blessed here with the best weather conditions we have the be- one of the best resources the human resource here so if you have if you can actually walk the talk on your intent instead of sitting on the fence and thinking you are bound to succeed there's a lot to do here there are a lot of opportunities so look at it this way are we in palestine are we in israel are we in iraq are we in uh, sudan no we are in one of the uh, better doing economies uh, with most of the resources being available so if you uh, do a checklist on your challenges versus opportunities and blessings you will always find that you have more blessings and if you are in that unique position of being able to invest go ahead and do it just keep your focus uh execute your plan lead from the front uh make it transparent so that you will deliver and it will definitely happen uh otherwise uh, you know you keep on losing while others gain so i feel that there are a lot of opportunities around So now it's time for us to take a look at what 
Sheffield Steel Systems have to offer. Mr. Suresh, the ball is in your court. Uh, this is our uh, new showroom. Mm -hmm. We are going to launch it. Um, it's a hotel fit-out showroom. It's one of its kind uh, in Africa. So it's a, a full hotel setup, almost. All right. Yeah, it mm -hmm. gives uh, the customer an idea of the quality, the mm -hmm. fit out, etc. So when you go to a hotel, mm -hmm. you walk into a lobby. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a reception, we have a bar, we have a coffee shop, a restaurant, mm -hmm. and we have a lounge here. Okay. Uh, beyond it, you see a typical alley going mm -hmm. to the rooms. Mm -hmm. We have here five rooms. Mm. So this is a typical uh, room. Yeah. Wow, beautiful. I like it. It gives you a sense of what to expect. Yes. Yes. What it, you see is what you get. What you see is what you get. Uh -huh. Or you can mutate a little. You mm -hmm. can tell us you don't like this or yeah. you, don't, you like this. Mm -hmm. Or your room is smaller or bigger. Mm -hmm. That was one type of room. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is another kind of room, little thin in fit out, so costing less. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's a complete solution as you can see. Wow. I can't imagine having a finished product of this caliber. Uh, yeah, ex exactly. You see, uh, with a little bit of fine work, mm -hmm. you are able to drive a better product. Mm -hmm. It fetches the investor $10 extra or $20 extra. Mm -hmm. Imagine what does a businessman need when he... So whole day he's spending out doing business with his mm -hmm. partners. Mm -hmm. He reaches home by say eight o'clock in the evening. He wants clean linen, clean room. He wants hot water shower. That's mm -hmm. what he's, but he's used to the best standards in the world. Mm -hmm. So that's what we offer uh, in our fit outs. Wow. So you want us to take a walk in the yeah. workshop? Yeah. The raw material comes in form of sheets. These are stainless steel sheets. Ah. Yeah, they come in various sizes and thicknesses. So this is how the raw material comes. Okay. Then they will do marking, they will do cutting here, mm -hmm. they will do punching, they will do bending there, the shape gets formed. Mm -hmm. Once these individual uh, parts get formed in sheet, then they get assembled there. Mm -hmm. From assembly, it goes into the gas electrical refrigeration fitting. Then we have a testing, quality control processes over a period of some time. Like a lab. Like a lab. So we better make it right. Yeah. If we make it right, it does your sales and marketing for yourself. Sure. Everybody Don't sees, please. everybody sees, if you see here, the Sheffield sign mm. is embossed. Mm. So it is embossed for life. Yeah. Yeah. You either live with the good work or the mistakes. Exactly. Yeah. You know, so. Sure. So putting that stamp is a responsibility mm. you live up to. That's true. A reputation you are creating, you can only do that confidently when you are putting in the right ingredients. Uh -huh. So can we see uh, the end products of what they are doing here? Definitely. See how we convert a, a container into a laundromat. Wow. Yeah, this wow. is a same Concept, container yeah, yeah. Uh, converted into mm. a full laundromat. Mm. So these are Fully automatic coffee, ma uh, the laundry machines. Yeah, dishwasher. Coin operated, uh -huh. uh, washer and a dryer. Mm. Uh, for the large curtains or beddings, we have larger machines. Mm -hmm. For uh, personal uh, clothes, you have small, there is an ironing area on that side. Mm. Those mm. are our other solutions. Okay. Uh, fitted in trailers, mm. just put a four wheel drive in front of it, take it to a football ma match or some conference event, etc. Mm -hmm. You have a, uh, a burger and a chip shop. You have a barbecue shop. You have a bar on that side. Mm -hmm. And this is a small coffee shop, coffee box on this side. I mean, a very small place. It can be placed anywhere. We have these solutions operating in the market. We have done many mm -hmm. for hotels who are doing outside catering. Mm -hmm. A typical restaurant may cost 15 to 20 million shillings. Yeah. Whereas we are offering them a solution within two, three, five million shillings and they will be able to do greater penetration in geographies and will be present in many areas. Mm -hmm. So all this are ready for sale? Uh, this showroom creates a starting point yeah. of discussion. You know, you will not find a showroom like this. Any of our competitor will be typically having equipment put up as a trader. So you mm -hmm. see a cooker, you see a fryer, you have 
So here what you have is the complete concept. That's a daily shop like a convenience store you see in the supermarkets. Yeah. That's a canteen setup, a corporate canteen setup. Yeah. That's another coffee shop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There is a coffee kiosk. There is a bakery. Mm -hmm. There is a uh, ice cream shop. At the far end is a bar. So all set up. So a client is able to mm. visualize. Nice. Uh, you know what it is like. Mm. So a, a complete pizza shop set in a six by three meter space. So he gets to know what is. A rental will be or how many people can operate the shop. Yeah. So why we have to build this concept is because they don't exist in the yeah. market. Yeah. Quite a serious establishment you have here. One of the areas we haven't been able to see is the cold room. Tell us about it. A typical cold room production would take four weeks. Then the shipping would take four weeks. And then the whole process of clearance and all that, 12 weeks. A cold room is constituted of... Uh, certain panels which are insulated and then you put the cooling machine inside. So I did, I install, get the whole setup done in two years ago and it is now helping us a great deal. So all KFCs you see now have our cold rooms. Nice. So all uh, chicken in and simbisas you see, mm -hmm. they have our cold rooms. Yeah. So we, have, we are taking the cold room line further into agriculture solutions. That is a huge window for us and huge uh, requirement in every county. Thank you so much, Mr. Suresh, for the tour, for the great uh, interview we've had. And we look forward to seeing what next big thing will be coming out of Sheffield Steel Systems. Thank you. All right. Thank you for having me. And that brings us to the end of our show for this week. It has been an insightful and indeed an intriguing experience here at Sheffield Steel Systems. My name is Abhi Agina. On behalf of the entire team, we say bye-bye. Remember to always engage with us on our social media handles appearing at the bottom end of the screen.